This one has taken me a little bit by surprise. I'm not going to lie. This is a complete AI suite with Olama, Comfy, and N8N style agent builder in one place, running completely offline. What the? Okay. So, wow. All right. Let's, we, we obviously have to try this out. I have not downloaded this before. This is what the GitHub page looks like. And clearly we have some great stuff happening here. So apparently you don't need any API keys, no backend. It's just our stack on our machine locally. Bloody hell. I'm so surprised by this. So yeah, and we have an MIT license as well. We don't have an Apache 2.0 license. Maybe that's on the way. Let's see what's happening right now. So this is what it looks like on the web. I've never seen this before. I just saw Fahad Mirza post a video about this yesterday. If you don't know who Fahad Mirza is, he's actually a legend in the offline AI space. And he posts some really, really great videos on his YouTube channel. So definitely check that out when you get the chance. Looks like this hosted version is not really working. That's okay. Let's download it. Okay. We have a Mac OS Universal DMG, which we're going to download right now. And again, I have not downloaded this yet. I'm just doing it now. I'm actually exporting a video while we're doing this. So that's the beauty of having a Mac Studio as well. It's now been installed. Cool. And there's Clara. Are we going to open it? It's a desktop application. Already we're off to a pretty good start because it's a desktop application. Open Web UI is not a desktop application yet, unfortunately. But looks like this is looking pretty good. So far, so good. Now, I know I titled this video, you know, is this the Open Web UI killer? But I mean, it's, it's, it still remains to be seen. I will be doing some more thorough testing on this before we get a full consensus and before we can come to a conclusion rather in terms of what is better and what's not. So clearly it's pulling a Docker container right now. That's how it's installing everything. And uh, which is good to see that everything is containerized, ready to go type of situation. So it should be easy to install on any device really. Cool. We're pulling N8N. Very cool. So this is essentially just a wrapper. Oh, it's not even a wrapper. It's uh, they're not advertising themselves as a wrapper, but it's got everything built in. So clearly it is using N18 behind the scenes and it's got all of that installed. And we've got Alam already on here. So that's fine. We're starting all the services now. All right. Again, man, like I know we haven't seen the UI yet, but this is already off to a fantastic start. I just have to say that. So, okay, here's the main application. So what does it look like here? We are privacy first, powerful AI models, visual app builder, and local storage. So let's have a look. So what, what can we do with Clara's designed to be your AI companion? and do a lot of other things while keeping your data private and secure. So AI assistant, great image understanding, creative writing, custom app building. Okay, we'll have a test of that. And a code assistant, so interesting. Let me put in some details here. Okay, good. Let's go with dark mode. Actually, nah, we'll, just, we'll go with light mode, sorry. Now that is where everything is, that's fine. And yes, I do have comfy UI in here as well. So we'll get that up and running. Well, we've got this up, sweet. That's awesome. Wow, okay, cool, wow. So we can do some pretty interesting stuff here with looks things, agents, automations. Let me just configure everything first and see what we've got here. So here's the Alama configurations, and at N instances, if we have that running, I don't have that at the moment, but that's okay. And we can use any kind of open AI compatible API. So if you want to use open router, Gemini, all that kind of stuff, you're more than, more than welcome to do so here by the looks of things. Very, very cool. So let's start chatting. All right. We'll select the vision model that we've got here. We've got a few vision vision models to play around with, but I'm going to go with 3 billion 2.5 VL Quen, which is very cool. Tool model. Okay. That's interesting that we can actually allocate a tool model specifically and a rag model specifically as well. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to use the big boys. I'm just going to use the small ones. That's so fascinating. Isn't it? How we can just do that. Okay. What are motors? I guess it decides what, what, AI to, to choose, but that's so fascinating. Hello, what's on your mind? Nothing. Okay, cool. Voice input works as well. Could not access microphone. It's probably because it's being used right now. System preferences, security, privacy, microphone. Okay, let me see here. Oops, microphone. Clara has got the permission, but anyway, we'll come back to that. So what's this? Can you connect the data source perhaps? What is this? That button, it's not doing anything. Code interpreter. It can execute code on your PC. Wow, add a document, add an image. That's so fascinating, isn't it? that we can just do all these kind of cool things. All right, that's that's cool. Oh, that's the knowledge base. Variety, oh, okay. We can upload some files here and then we can do some stuff with them. Okay. Do I have any documents? I do have a document here. Fail to upload module. Okay, we'll 
come back to that again this is a complete like pretty much a raw test a live live demo because i have no idea what you know like what is what this is actually capable of yet okay sweet so right now we've done that now we go back to here now let's uh, can we generate an image perhaps let's do image generation fail to connect to comfy you what's going up here all startup tasks have been completed so we're starting up the server once that's done then we can begin doing this cool so we can generate images interesting let's go with agents here let's create an app okay so this is basically n810 wow so that's that's really cool so webcam input and then we go there you go vision capable model quinn 2.5 vl and then that's going to be a text output there cool and we've just created a app just like that I don't have a webcam on here, unfortunately, but that's okay. What I'll do is I'll delete this one and I'll put in a, I'll put in a image upload. Okay. And that's the app, which is great. So now let's just upload a random image. Let's just take this one, for example. And yeah, let's just run the flow. Let's see what it does. We got a 500 error. What happened here? Sample tokens, check model app. Okay. Let me just add a system prompt. So, okay. So we need a text input as well, do we? Okay. Yeah. Let me connect that up to here. And we get me, what do you see? Okay. Run the flow. Let's see what's happening. I don't think that's text. And see if I can make a chat bot. So we go text input and we go with LLM prompt connect that up and then let's have a text output here we're gonna go hey mate and let's run that okay so that works good how are you okay good so that worked let's get rid of that and let's put an image input again and i'll we'll use three okay oops to connect that up maybe we've just got too much stuff happening right now i'm exporting a video at the moment and i've got this happening but let's see so let's find the flow cool all right now that works it worked brilliant so we have an entire app now that we need that we can use we can save this as an app so let's i don't know we call this a vision save that go back to apps and we have the vision app right oh okay oh that's actually amazing that is actually crazy okay so just for so you guys can understand what i just did okay i literally just built an app using a workflow builder just like this and now I have a full on interface that I can interact with it and do whatever I need to do with it. That is actually pretty impressive. That is, yeah, wow. I built it. No way. You could just, this is, this is insanity. Describe the UI elements you want to make. Clara's designer. What in the? F okay. I got to use this with Quinn. Create. Okay. I'll create a form with name and email fields we're loading a 32 billion param or 30 billion parameter moe model right now and that's what it's generating at the moment i probably should have put no think in there lol oh well but i mean man overall this is this is very impressive this is super super duper impressive and the potential and possibilities that this is now unlocked for businesses is pretty much tenfold now i mean project infra is designed that you can own your artificial intelligence ecosystem but with this like you know it's everything is pretty much in one place which is which makes you know my life a lot easier especially when i just need to deploy one software into a company so yeah very interesting i have been given my blessing by tim the founder of open web ui and he has supported what the f so it's just literally built this from scratch that's wow yeah, it's a crazy time to be living in, ladies and gents. So that's an AI. What did we just build? We just built an agent, did we? Here's the workflow. Yeah, right. Okay. So there's the here's the workflow builder. But we, what did we just build there? We just built an agent. Wow. Okay. I thought we were building a workflow, but evidently not. We just literally built an agent. Interesting. That is so interesting. Yeah, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, okay. Obviously, there's a lot more that I need to research about this tool. But to be honest, guys, just by using it for the past 10, 15 minutes, I can tell you this is going to be a game changer very, very quickly. And I also feel Open Web UI can take a little bit of inspiration by what these guys are doing here at Clara. I'm sure the two, the two softwares combined can really allow anyone to truly claim AI as their own right? If you have a fine-tuned AI model that's been custom custom trained and like, you know, learning off your data, then you've got these amazing solutions at your disposal that you can just download for free and use your fine-tuned models at a moment's notice. As I say, your imagination is your only limitation. And we're literally just scratching the surface here, guys. I'm going to try again and we're going to upload another document and see if it goes through. Unfortunately not, it's not going through. So look, not all softwares these days are perfect, 
but this is damn close, okay? And in terms of open web UI, it's very, very on par, if not just as good for what you needed to do. Of course, open web UI has a lot more things already baked in, a lot more capabilities and functionalities that is designed to be similar to ChatGPT. This, however, Clara is kind of designing itself to be the all-in-one suite for AI, whether, that, whether that's image generation, whether that's workflow building, whether that's uh, identity-based development. It seems like you can do everything under the sun in one place, which is never a bad idea anyway. So my final conclusion is I think both Open Web UI and Clara do have a spot in the offline AI world for sure. And I think they're both serving very special and specific use cases. And uh, yeah, I don't think they're overshadowing each other. And I genuinely feel that there is room for both of these softwares to grow and establish themselves as the best tools to use for offline AI purposes. So yeah, I really hope you like this video. Again, this was a very quick one because I just, I literally just found this tool 25 minutes ago and I thought I have to make a video on this immediately. Otherwise I can't go to bed. So I do appreciate you watching. And uh, definitely stick around and we will be showing you some more cool stuff that is to come on the channel, especially in the robot side of things. And if you want to know more about what I'm talking about, then you can go to my community page on, uh, on YouTube, on my YouTube channel in the community section. You'll find a post there that explains what a little bit about what I'm on about. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, until then, take it easy and uh, talk soon. Bye.